After Naga, the Serpent King, saved Morugan from the deadly bite of a green cobra, he joined Sandokan on his journey to the legendary Sea of Mud, where it is said the mystical blade of Nandaka lays hidden. Not a moment too soon. Ugh, not my favorite way to travel. Hmm. Hmm. The best way to the Sea of Mud is through these swamps. Anyone who doesn't want dirty feet should just stay behind. I don't mind getting my feet dirty, but what will we do when this muck comes up to our necks? Will we swim? You must have faith. We will find a way to continue. You'll just have to trust me. You okay? Are you still feeling pain? No, the pain is mostly gone now, though I'm still a little bit weak. <laughs> After being bitten by a green cobra, you should consider yourself lucky to be alive. Your wound is healing very well, and walking will do you good. It'll circulate the fluids inside your body and help purify any remaining poison. Off we go! For something called a sea of mud, this isn't a big deal. <laughs> Let's not be too hasty. We're still only at the edges of the Great Swamp. You'll have plenty of time to curse this place. What's up, Paco? Have you seen something? <laughs> ah, pardon me, folks. Paco is hungry, and I think he's seen his breakfast over there on that beautiful flower. <laughs> he likes to eat flowers, does he? Likes its pretty perfume, does he? So delicious. He doesn't want the flower. He wants the bug on top of it. If you want some fun, then you should watch him eat. Huh? What did I tell you? Fast as... Huh? What the devil? He's sinking quickly. Of course, that's why they call it quicksand. Hey, why didn't you warn me? Help! I've got you! Oh, don't be so upset. Swamps can be a dangerous place. But you've learned a very good lesson. Remember well this pretty flower, because wherever it grows lies a not-so-pretty trap. Not a pleasant thing to find yourself sinking to your death with no chance of escape. <sighs> you know, Paco, Next time you get hungry and you go looking for some breakfast, leave me out of it. <laughs> Be strong, Randy. Naga says this is only the beginning. Yes, I did, little master. They don't call this the Sea of Mud for nothing. I see. And the dragon, the one that supposedly guards this swamp, is he very far from here? The dragon? He lives where the waters run very deep. How else could he stay hidden? But what exactly is this dragon? It's really some kind of monster that breathes fire like in fairy tales? <laughs> Don't be silly. From what I've been able to figure out, he's some kind of ancient crocodile. But a big one, and very ferocious. And how big are we talking? How would I know? Nobody that's seen it has ever come back alive. Since you're so in love with reptiles, how do we know you won't turn around and betray us? Oh no, I only love snakes. I don't like crocodiles. The eyes of the snake are sincere. You can see when they want to attack you and where. The eyes of the crocodile are unfathomable. They squint at you from the water with their sneer of death, and then they strike you when you least expect it. Thank you, Naga. Now I'm glad you came here with us. From everything you've told me, it was a very brave gesture. Either that or incredibly foolish. Oh, Randy, I thought tigers love the water. <sighs> they like clean water, not this disgusting mud pit where each step is like torture. 
Naga, let's take a break. Morugan huh? is getting tired. No, I can make it. Let's keep going. Yes, just a little bit further. There are some small islands where we can rest and recover. And this place is full of insects. The minute you stand still, they're all over you. That's because you don't have Paco to defend you from these little beasts. <laughs> Look at him go. Paco is really amazing. Not a single gnat escapes him. <laughs> He seems to be having more trouble with that one than he did with the others. Huh. Whatever can't get done by Paco gets done by Yanez. Enough clowning. Let's get a move on. Ah, they're all just jealous of you. Am I right, Paco? Look, there's an island up ahead. I'll see if I can get us a boat. Get us a boat? From where? Do they grow on trees now? I have told you to have faith in me. A small tribe of fishermen lives in this area of the swamp. They have many boats. I'm sure we could borrow one. Uh, I hope so, because I'm getting tired. I need a bath. We've been through far worse than this. A little bit of mud is nothing compared to fighting a demon. A demon? I've never seen a demon before. What's it like? What are its powers? Well, we don't really know that much about it. It's a kind of evil spirit that seeks out other creatures and takes over their bodies. In both men and animals? Ah! <laughs> yeah, and it looks like the demon isn't the only creature that likes to pull that kind of stunt. <sighs> the demon could become a swamp tick like this, or one of those mosquitoes that tormented us before. That's enough. I can't rest if you keep torturing my brain with thoughts of that monster. Yes. What we need is something nice to put in our bellies. <laughs> Have you folks ever had mud carp? It's not very good when it's raw, but we could cook it on a fire. Oh, finally someone has come up with a brilliant idea. I'll see if I can round up some firewood. Just what do you think you're doing? You had me all excited over that fish. The men of the swamps. Yes, I can see their boats. Waina mucha. We mikaya. What did you tell him? You'll be asking for their help, no? I simply asked their chief for his hospitality. Hmm. Once we have ingratiated ourselves to him, we will speak to him about our mission. Why are we making this so complicated? Couldn't we just ask them for a boat? Well, then you can ask him. We'll see if you know how to convince them to disturb the great dragon of the okay, swamp. Okay, you've made a valid point, Naga. Just calm down and we'll follow your plan. You follow my plan, all right. Hmm. This is the best fish I've ever tasted. Mmm. Hey, Naga, can you ask the chief if I can get the recipe? Uh, that can wait, Yanez. Naga is telling the chief about our mission. Oh, sure. Everything's always about the mission, the dragon, the mystical blade. Never any room to slip a little life in between the cracks. Yeah, that's right. You can get your stupid recipe when they're finished. As I feared, the chief is against this. He absolutely opposes the idea of disturbing the great dragon. Each month, these fools make a great offering to the monster. They present it with one of the sacrificial crocodiles that they raise for this purpose. So basically, you're saying that their lives revolve around appeasing an overgrown lizard? Yes. To journey toward the center of the swamp would be a sacrilege that would arouse the anger of their great dragon and bring about the end of life as they know it. So what are we supposed to do now? We can't get there without using one of their boats, especially with an entire village against us. The chief has graciously offered us another way. Uh, hold on, I think the chief is going to tell us something more. All right, we're finally gonna get that really great fish Will you recipe. Stop? 
tried to be serious. Huh? Ah. There's one possibility. The chief says that there is an ancient legend that speaks of a foreigner that could one day face the great dragon. A stranger that wields a blade of fire. The magical dagger. Yes, the dagger. Behold, great chief, this is the legendary blade of fire. <laughs> a most incredible weapon. <sighs> now then, will you help us? No, huh? um, it isn't that simple. In order to be granted permission to disturb the great dragon, you will first have to pass a test. You will have to wrestle one of their sacred crocodiles and defeat it, without the use of any weapons, with only your strength. Oh. The chief has told me that it's not a very big crocodile, but it seems large and quite hungry to me. Then I'll just have to do my best not to become its next meal. <sighs> Be careful. Please be careful, Sandicon. What is that? A floating log or a crocodile? Oh! Look out behind you! Crocodile! He's not just hungry, he's cunning as well. But not as cunning as me. I don't like this one bit. <gasps> Sandicon! Sandicon, what's happening? I lost him, but he can't have gone far. He's got to be around here somewhere. Go, Sandakai! Get him! Oh. You've got him now, Sandakai! What does the chief say to that? The chief said he will help you. Okay. Tell him I accept his generosity. Thank him for his help. Yes, master. Okay. Now we have everything. The women and the child should remain behind. The tigress also. She would only upset the boat. Don't you know that women actually enjoy a sea of mud? I told you, nobody has ever returned from a journey to see the great dragon. I don't wish us to risk more than three of our lives. I'm afraid he's right. This journey will be far too dangerous for you two. More than the mountains or the jungles of India or any of the other dangers that we face together? You still have to regain all your strength. It'll be much better if you wait here with Mariana and Kamamuri. This isn't up for debate. Let's go, Yanez. <laughs> Look at this, Paco. Muddy water for mile after mile. It really is a sea of mud. <sighs> 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 
Well, we're here at the center. Now what? Stop worrying. They will all be here soon enough. What do you mean, they will be here? I thought it was only one big crocodile. Uh, yes. The great dragon. But there's also his court that surrounds him. I didn't notice all these floating logs before. Those aren't floating logs, Yanez. Do you remember earlier when I was fighting that crocodile? <laughs> it is the court of the great dragon. How many of these crocodiles are there anyway? It looks like there's hundreds of them. And that's only what you can see. Most of them are still hidden deep under the still waters of this sea of mud. They've closed in around us. We're surrounded by these beasts. <laughs> Look at their cruel and unfathomable eyes. No thanks. Don't bother using your pistol, Yanez. It'll do no good. Remember the chief's prophecy. A blade of fire. Your magical dagger. Do something. They are only regrouping. They'll be back. Great. We should try to make for that island. Good idea. Let's try to get there before they attack again. Hang on. We're almost there now. Let's end this. OK. Let's see how magical this dagger really is. Tondokan! There's more coming on your left! Huh? I see him! <laughs> They're attacking from all sides! Everybody get further ashore! Hmm, not sure that was my best idea. If we stay and fight them on land, then all will be lost. There are too many, even for the dagger. So now what, little buddy? I'm gonna have to stir things up a little. Dagger of Nandaka, show me that water can be stronger than fire! Yes! It's working! By the seven seas! My little buddy is taking those crocs by storm! Keep going, Sandrakan! There's still more of them! Let them come! We'll see how they like this! Yeah! Those whirlpools are taking care of those beasts! <laughs> uh, the dagger! Incredible, little buddy. You're like a force of nature. Thanks, but I lost the dagger in those whirlpools. What? But that would mean... We're in trouble. The crocodiles have nothing to fear from us now. They will soon return. What are they waiting for? The magical dagger and the mystical blade rise again above the muddy waters. To the boat, quickly! Go! Go now! The dragon! I think we're gonna need a bigger boat! Where... where'd he go? Hey, 
now. I've had just about enough of you. Yeah. Ah! Here, eat this! Ah! Giannis, are you okay? Yeah, but I busted my wrist. Here, take my pistol! The dragon is about to return! I threw a barrel of gunpowder in its mouth, and there's only one bullet in the chamber! <laughs> Nice shoot! Ah, and the dagger? I saw it go flying. It ended up on that island there. To the boat, then. Let's move it! Huh? There's the mystical blade! Yes, but remember those flowers? There's quicksand there. Then we'll deal with it. Just do exactly as I tell you. Well, here goes nothing. Throw me the dagger! Now throw it to me, so I can pull you out! <sighs> Let's go! Start pulling with all your strength! What for? Now that I have the mystical blade, you two are worth less than nothing. You've served your purpose. Naga, but... Naga no longer exists. His soul was conquered by a demon that followed you first in the semblance of a little fly, and then swam after you as a lowly fish. Oh, that mud carp that Naga caught on the island. Yes, that's right, the mud carp. But that's not important now. I have what I wanted, and you, you will die. Oh. Well, that's it then. It's over, little buddy. This time I think it's really the end. Uh, huh? Why are you so shocked, Yanez? Didn't you know that we were going to follow you the huh? whole way? <laughs> By the seven seas! I've never seen a more beautiful face in my life! But enough of that! Pull us out of this muck! <laughs> You're safe now, and that's what's important to me. Yes. But that demon has a huge head start on us, and worse. He has the mystical blade with him. 